Hello to you. I'm Jesse Johnson. The video, this short video, is about acceleration and deceleration. How to grasp its basics. From a physical standpoint, acceleration is to invest force and or energy to make something go faster and faster without letting it go steady by adding more and more energy and or force to it. Deceleration is to invest energy and or force to make something go slower and slower without letting it go steady by depleting its momentum forces, velocity, frequency of vibrations and or speed. The force and or energy can be internal to the system and or external to the system such as driving a car and speeding up and or slowing down. Acceleration and deceleration happens every time you walk, run, talk, jog, look around with your only your eyes, ski, skate, swim, move your fingers or hands, move your arms, turn your head, ride a bus, every single thing all around you plus yourself is made up of acceleration and deceleration. Acceleration and deceleration comes in two forms, controllable repeatables and non-repeatables. Most things in physical, in physics and physical matters offline and online can be explained with arithmetic. It's not mysterious. The problem with the educational systems everywhere is politics, religion, and economics, which manipulates and exploits it. Many concepts in college and university physics is incomplete. They're true, but not whole. They are incomplete. Sometimes a partial concept is given, sprinkled with a few untruths and distortions. Even students detect something's out of place but cannot pinpoint it. Now, to begin, first off, I'm going to move the camera. Please hold on. The first thing we shall look at is controllable acceleration and deceleration. This type of acceleration and deceleration, as you can see, number one here, is where you want it or need it to be so. You want to control it. You want to notarize all of its components and you want it repeatable as you would like it. We'll start with number one. Constant, same quantity, repeatable, squareable, such as two three, seconds squared and so forth. Controllable acceleration. Right here is feet per second, and here are the seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten seconds here. These are the amount of feet. They are a constant amount. Each second adds a foot. Each second adds one more foot more than the, the, the previous one. Until at the end, in ten seconds, you are moving ten, ten feet per second. Now, we shall go to number two. This is acceleration also but non-constant, different quantities. It is patterned, repeatable, controllable, and non-squareable. Once again, it says feet per second, and also the seconds are written at the bottom up to 10 seconds. First off, you start with two feet per second, then you add three feet to it, then you add on the third second, th six feet to that, then seven feet to that in the fourth second, as you can see, 8, 11, 16, 17.3, 22, 26, until at the, at the end, in 10 seconds, you are going 100.3 feet per second. Let's continue. Now, number three, Acceleration and deceleration together is non-constant, different quantities, patterned, repeatable, controllable, non-squareable. As you can see, 
A stands for acceleration, D stands for deceleration. You have feet per second, as before, and you have the seconds right here, all the way up to 10 seconds. You accelerate it 4 feet, you decelerate it 1 foot, you accelerate it 6 feet, you accelerate it 3 feet more in the next second, you decelerate it 2 feet, you accelerate it 6, pardon me, you decelerate it 6 feet here, then you accelerate it 9 feet, you decelerate it, decelerate it 5 feet, and you accelerate it 2 feet, then you accelerate it 1 feet. At the end, you should be going somewhere around 11 feet per second in those 10 seconds. This here is like when you're talking or um, singing, you are accelerating, decelerating, accelerating, decelerating your mouth and tongue and so forth. We'll go to number four now. Deceleration. It's repeatable, constant, non-squarable, same quantity, controllable, pardon me, same quantity, controllable, Oops, I, I wrote same quantity twice, but nonetheless, it's feet per second, and it's seconds, 10, 11 seconds in this case. You're going to go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, all the way down to one foot per second, then zero, in which, in the end, you have stopped with zero. We're going to go to number five, deceleration, repeatable, controllable, different quantities, non-squarable, feet per second again, and seconds, 10 seconds. Over, over 10 seconds, you started out with 21 feet per second, then 19 feet, you're slowing down, 16, 12, 11, 8, 6.5, 4.3, 1, and then you reach 0 in 10 seconds. This is a fast slowdown or a fast deceleration. Now, we will go to non-controllable acceleration and or deceleration. Just as the, f the, the pages you've seen before this one, this includes all of those, but in the case of you do not need to know, to, you do not need to know how you accelerated or how fast it was going, such as when you're talking and so forth, you're not really clocking it so much, you're not notarizing the exact amount of acceleration and deceleration. It's non-repeatable because it, you never, since you're not notarizing it, you'll never repeat it. And it's not to be repeated, such as feet per second. Once again, you have 10, 10 seconds. You have acceleration, acceleration, deceleration. A means acceleration, D means deceleration. And these here, you've accelerated 5 feet. You ex Pardon me, three feet, you accelerated it five more feet, you accelerated it, decelerated it one foot, accelerated it seven more feet on top of that, accelerated ten more feet on top of that, decelerated it that, that total amount, four feet, accelerated again, 4.3 feet there, accelerated nine feet, decelerated that total amount before, six feet, and you decelerated it another two feet. A second, and after 10 seconds, you should be going somewhere around 18.3 feet per second. I may have gotten the arithmetic incorrect, but it doesn't really matter. You get the point. Now, I want to thank everyone for listening and watching, and have a good day.